And welcome back as we're just in time for a strike from Nicholas Parker Jr. As we will get the ever so dangerous catcher, Hal Olivo, at the plate there, 14 Dominican Republic. He settles in at one and one, and he too is gonna look to get things going as the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the third. Get himself a decent hitting count here, two and one. And he will foul that one off. A high fastball inside that he isn't quite able to get his hands around on. As Nicholas Parker Jr. seems to have found the strike zone quite well. You can see from the perspiration on the face of Olivo that it is a very humid night here in Tainan in the southern part of Taiwan. As we said before, it does get hot, right? It gets humid hot. So it's easy to find yourself kind of in a, a sweaty mess if you're playing sports especially. And you know, sweat in your eyes and things like that when you're playing the game of baseball doesn't make it very easy. Yeah, we'll have a base on balls for Ahel Olivo there. See if he can get himself a decent lead over there. That ball is hit to second, and we will just go over to first base to take the sure thing. But Olivo will move to second as Carlos Marrero grounds out to second base. I think that's a good play there by Mike de los Reos. You don't want to push the envelope too much, only trailing by five. As that ball's hit up the middle, and that ball's kind of bobbled a little bit, but the strong arm of Paris Head is able to nail Justin Garcia at first base. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the benefits of having a strong arm. You see right there, wasn't quite fielded, just a little bobble there. But he has such a strong arm, he's able to still get Justin Garcia by about a half a foot sliding into first base. Now I would always tell the kids in baseball that it's not a great idea to slide into first base. There's a lot of things that go on over there at first base. And sliding into first base, fingers first, without your sliding pad, could cause damage to your hands. And you kind of lose your momentum once you dive in. I know you might think it kind of it looks good or what not, but you got to keep your momentum going down that line. And if you want to compare yourself to the best in the world, how many major leaguers do you see that dive into first base? Not very many. They try to beat it out. They beat it out with their legs and their momentum. I'm also sure the coach, Cristobal Bonilla, of Team Dominican Republic, will mention that to his players once they come back into the dugout. There is, of course, don't get me wrong, a time for sliding in baseball, as we all know. But I think first base may be not too necessary. A two and two. And Ryer Gonzalez gets ready here. He's played some good shortstop for the team Dominican Republic. But he goes down swinging. And that will be the third out here in the bottom of the third. And that will be a zero spot up on the board for team Dominican Republic. We'll head to the top of four. Seven to two, team Dominican Republic. <laughs> 